So you just mentioned of the INDCs, I would like to look at you, how do we have the program, it's like we're bringing up new strategies to um, incorporate whatever we have as youth into the INDCs. I don't know, what channel are you going to use to make sure that whatever we're discussing, whatever product, uh, product and, let me see, projects we have we've had here would be incorporated into the national uh, uh, the national program so that we would be able to achieve a more comprehensive goal. This is a very good question because uh, most often when conferences are organized, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, you don't really seem to know what happens at the, uh, I mean, later. So for this conference, I mean, strategically, we are uh, actually committing the participants to also come up with innovative ideas. So uh, yesterday, for instance, we had the, the groups. Discuss, uh, the group discussions. So the objective of this group discussions is for each group to come up with an innovative idea that uh, will uh, fall into the national agenda towards addressing these climate change issues. So what is going to happen with these ideas is that most often, I mean, when young people have ideas, the challenge is how to implement them. Because sometimes you do not have the capacity. And when I talk about capacity, there are a lot of things that I refer to here. Exactly. Apart from the financial capacity, they do not have the technical capacity, the technical know-how. So for, for this conference to, to, to happen, we believe that they would have built that capacity in terms of the knowledge wise. But beyond this conference, I mean with the financial aspect, we are going to have uh, an alliance of launch called the National Youth Alliance on Agenda 2030. And this alliance is going to mobilize uh, resources to support some of the key project ideas that will come out of uh, this conference. Wow, wow. That's powerful. Um, I think I have one last one, and that has to do with the fact that we are organizing this program, which is quite imperative, but then it looks like the concentration is here in Accra, and from the, the information we've gotten, it looks like um, the, the, the adverse effect of climate change is actually having an impact back in the so I don't know what we're going to do to make sure that they also have a fail or have a share of this project that we're doing to make sure that some of their problems are being kept. So I don't know, in your regard, what are you going to do to make sure that you can also reach them? But strategically, this conference is not, even though it's being held, uh, but it is not just, uh, it's not meant for only people living in the greater area. So we have participants coming from the Baldwin region, from all the areas or corners of uh, Ghana here participating in the conference. So, 
what we hope to uh, I mean to do is that to follow up on all the participants. Because we expect that once we have received the training, we expect that we go back and also engage other young people either uh, through your small uh, community organization or through churches or even schools to engage them to also promote uh, and, and enhance their awareness about some of the discussions that they have here. So that back then they can also take action. Because just as we have mentioned, most of the impacts of climate change and environmental issues are felt uh, down there at the rural areas because they depend on most of the natural resources. And once we talk about climate change, we mean, uh, what uh, it means is that the natural resources will be affected. Agriculture will be affected. So if they are not uh, empowered to understand the issues and take action at the local community, what we will, will end up uh, facing is that we will be having people migrated from the rural areas. The data is already to I mean, you know with all the sanitation problems that we have. So the idea is that once we train these people, we go back to our communities and also train others to understand the issues and also give actions. All right, so from what I just gathered, um, there's one thing that I would like to mention. Um, the adverse effect of climate change surpasses even that of Ebola and even the current um, training diseases. But trust me, um, the awareness of, of climate change is not at the peak. On the most was the, the awareness about climate change, but then I can attribute that to the fact that um, we make it look too scientific. Climate change looks too scientific. It doesn't have to look how it is. And now you've made it, you have shows that this program comes to the local level. That is the plus for I also like to know what are you going to say to the media houses because I think that we want to even add up the media to them to be the fourth of the because they can create that awareness. What are you going to say to them? What advice do you need to various media houses to make sure that they also make sure that the Ordinary and change. Thank you because you are also a media house, and I'm very happy that you made the time to be part of this conference to cover and you know, also participate and also hoping that uh, you are going to disseminate whatever information you are having here to your wider viewers. So, uh, for other media houses, uh, what I think is that the media is a powerful tool, and uh, I believe that if we are able to use the media in uh, that way to address the development issues, uh, it will be very helpful. But most often, I mean, in our part of the, the world, we are so much uh, concerned about political issues. But then, I mean, politics is not everything. We have environmental issues. So if we are in politics and our environment is not secure, uh, we are challenged with food security. I mean, we are not going anywhere. So I would encourage all the media houses to also uh, begin to pay attention to some of the uh, environmental issues, climate change issues, and other development issues that our people are confronted with. So thank you a lot, Mr. Tsui. Anything for the audience? Yeah. Okay, so um, uh, basically, I mean, everything is said. Uh, thank you so much for, for, for having me. And then uh, I'll also encourage the young people to understand that, yes, we are talking about climate change, but uh, let us not always assume that climate change is all about creativity, because there are positive aspects of uh, climate change for youth employment. So uh, for us as young people, we need to understand the issues and also explore to see where the opportunities, uh, opportunities lie so that we can take advantage of those opportunities. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.